What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Happy New Year. Well, it's Happy New Year's Eve, but I wanted to say Happy New Year. I hope everyone's been doing well. I personally have been working at uh, Spartan Tool. Uh, they called me the other day and they said, hey, uh, you know, you worked here two years ago. We got a guy on vacation. Would you mind helping us fill in? And uh, the manager is one of my customers, so, you know, I'm not going to turn them down. Plus, they were paying me, of course, so uh, I went ahead and said yes. Now, the garage project. It's finally done, so to speak. Um, I still have to clean out one of my toolboxes. And I've got some stuff in here. I found a place that will sandblast and re-powder coat my sure cage for a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna do that. Have to take my dad's old sweeper in that we loaned to him. He allowed the uh, sweeper bag to explode inside of the little zipper bag. So it's a mess. Um, so we've got to pay to have that done and then we will have a basically a brand new vacuum it's an auric so i got that for christmas from my mother about 10 to 12 years ago and uh other than that i've got some shingles going on this little building here as soon as my buddy gets uh time to come over and do that but without further ado, let me show you what I've got done in the garage so far. And I uh, hope you guys like this. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's getting there. It's, it's like 95% done. So let's check it out. Okay. There's my new fishing pole holder. We got the fast track rubber made. I have not yet put the drywall on that. There's my cabinets. We did put a new shelf up there. Here's my cabinets. These hold all of my clothes, my hats, everything, my boots. So when I get home from work, I can walk in here, take everything off. We're going to put a little basket there where I can throw it in. There's my nut and bolt organizer that I put on the wall. There's my new green touch uh, backpack sprayer rack. There is the one toolbox. I cleaned that all up. You can see what I've done with that wall there. Now, I'm going to be replacing some stickers. If you guys have stickers, you want to send them, let me know. I'd be happy to do a video and show your sticker. This all got painted. This got painted and uh, rearranged, all cleaned up there. So the vacuum... So those will shortly be gone. And if you guys need these, I'm telling you, you pay the shipping, I'll send them to you. If somebody's in need of a backpack sprayer, right there it is. I'll sell it for five, 10 bucks, something like that. But I think the garage overall, and like I said, this is gonna go in the trash next time around. This gets taken in to get cleaned. That green touch rack gets redone. And uh, that is trash that I have to dump next week. But all in all, I think this garage project came out great. I mean, that is a huge difference from what I had. And I told you I'd talk about the heater. It's a 7,500 watt comfort zone. They no longer are on sale 
but that thing will heat you out of this garage i'm telling you and there's the new sticker cabinet that's going to have stickers all of you guys who want to send a sticker to me please do let me show you something else i bought i know i talked to a lot of you about that you screw that into your light bulb it's got three arms, 8,000 lumens, and I'm telling you, it lights this garage up like crazy. So, I need your comments. How do you guys think it turned out? I am going to be putting my DLT sign up there. Um, like I said, i got a couple things to do. Next project is we're going to do the office again. I'm going to hang couple pictures up in there rearrange some stuff and then we'll be painting our guest bathroom and putting a new toilet in there um, my wife wants the one with the little buttons on top and whatever miss Sarah says she wants that's what she gets my budget for this was 500 I went to about 620 so it was 120 over budget Hey, it's not fancy, man. It's not big, fancy $3,000 cabinets. But for Doc, I love it. I'm happy with it. And I'm going to tell you something. I was talking with my buddy Randall from Elite last night. And I want to know from you guys. When... And how did we get to this point? But this is what the video is about, man. At what point are we just not happy with what we have? I mean, my, my point is, you know, Randall and I were talking about, and my wife the other day, she said, you know what, we are really blessed with everything we have we have some really good friends. We have our health. We have what I think is a nice home to live in. Um, I've got everything I need and then some. You know, I just noticed watching YouTube for the last couple years. It's always like people are always looking for the next thing. The next thing. Someone does a video on a brand new mower. The next day, there's another video on another brand new mower. And it, and it never ends. It's never enough. At what point... And, and, and I get it. You know, I get it. Things have to move on. People have to buy. People sell things. Things get old. And I get it. But where are you in your life? Are you happy with what you have? Or are you a person that's always seeking that next best thing? And I, I think that's why so many people are like, well, you, you do this video and you're downsizing your business. Why would you do that? Because I'll tell you why. I am extremely happy with where I'm at. I'm content. I don't think it's wrong to be content. I don't think it's wrong to say, hey, I make X amount of dollars and that's enough for me. I just know where my life is. And I actually, at 50 years old, I've never been happier. You will always have someone that says, well, that's not for me, I want more. That's okay. And you, you can have as much as you want if you want to go out there and work day and night and grind yourself to the bone I did it I learned that money markets IRAs gold silver and other investments is how you really make money because eventually those things will outwork you every day of the week and they never get tired um, so I'm where I want to be in life I'm happy with it and I just want to tell you guys, if, if, you're, if you're out there and you're looking for the next best thing and everything that you buy and you earn and you acquire doesn't make you happy, it probably never will. Because material things, 
that's not go that's not what makes one happy okay and maybe you're young and you don't get it yet or maybe you're older and you never had it so you're striving for it and there is nothing wrong with that but i'm just letting you know wherever you are in life just stop for a minute and thank the man above that you are where you are because people have it a lot worse a lot worse and uh i don't know man i'm proud of this proud of myself for putting it together doing it it just took some time and i like how it looks and now we can get into making videos like how to fix this flat tire because that tire is going flat. We're going to change the oil in this. We're going to change spark plugs and everything. We're going to get these trimmers ready for the season. And that's just where I'm at now, man. So I want to thank you guys who follow the channel. You guys really are what matters to me, why I do the channel. And uh, I just want to thank you all. And I hope you guys, I hope we all stick together in 2022. I hope you have a great year. Something tells me things are going to get a lot worse. And uh, let's lift each other up when we're down. Let's help each other out. For those of you who just view the channel and enjoy it, let me know what you want to see in 2022. I, I'm not a mind reader. I can't figure it out. I want to do different things, but I need to know what you guys like. And, uh, hey, thanks for a great 2021. I appreciate you guys. God bless America. And let's go, Brandon. As always, guys. Dr. Real is in the house. Keep it real, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.